Hey YouTubers, just finishing up those 241 cylinder heads as far as the porting goes. I even I haven't even had a chance to pressure wash them yet to get all the chips and sanding dust and all that crap out of the heads. But I'm trying my best to try to get these things done and assembled today so that I can run them over to Richard's house because he wants to throw them on the 5.3 to uh, get it in the Typhoon and get closer to get it, getting it running, which, you know, I don't blame him for that. But I was just doing a little bit of what they call polishing, but it's basically smoothing the exhaust runners with a Scotch-Brite ball. I don't know if you guys are familiar with those things, but it's just basically a tool that you can put scotch bright balls on the endos. I only have blue and red balls, but basically I like, and I also use air tools to do your polishing because higher RPM polishes a lot better than a drill because a cordless drill, even a, a plug-in drill can't spin as fast as one of these and it'll take you forever to try to polish your runners. So do yourself a favor and use an air tool when you get to that level or get to that stage where you're going to try to clean it up. And Basically, the only reason I polish as much as I do on the exhaust runners, because it's not going to make a huge difference in flow, but hopefully it will help hold down on carbon buildup. So, But I wanted you guys to see the end product as far as the porting was concerned and I was going to try to give you guys some math because the intake bowl cut ended up at 88.5 percent so I got an 88.5 percent bowl cut and blend on the intake valve it could be just a hair over but as best as I can measure with my dial calipers it's a 1.77 inch bowl cut, which is fine. That's within a half of a percentage or less of being the 89 that I was shooting for. So we're looking at 88.5% bowl cut and blend on the intake side. And then let's find out where we ended up. Because it was a 1.340 bowl cut on the exhaust. Got my calculus later in my hand here. Um, look at that. Almost perfect. I was shooting for an 86% bowl cut and blend on the exhaust side. And a 1.340 divided by 1.55. 86.45. So I'm at a 86.45% on my bowl cut and blend. That's perfect. That way I don't have to worry about that seat getting too hot and falling out of the head. Because I have had heads that I ported for 87, almost 88% on the exhaust side. But I just don't feel comfortable running that big of a bowl cut on uh, turbo applications because of that hot exhaust heat situation. So again, just wanted to follow up on these heads. Um, Xfinity has had an outage of service in my area. So I, I have a couple of videos ready to upload, but I can't upload anything until I get my Wi-Fi back. So hopefully Xfinity slash Comcast will get that fixed this afternoon. They said they would not be able to send out a technician until Monday afternoon between three and five. So I'm just hoping that somebody was working on one of the junction boxes or whatever in our area and now they're going to reconnect it tonight so because it kind of sucks having to watch the roku instead of having cable but i'm really happy you know i'm really close to an 89 percent because i'm going to say that's 88.5 or slightly larger because it's a it's really hard to get my calipers down in that hole without touching the deck surface of the head so 88.5 or slightly bigger on the intake hit my 86.45 on the exhaust and I'm gonna run it what do they call it what's the new thing now send it send it time to go 
But anyway, uh, it's hotter than I don't know what out here, but I guess it's a good weight loss program. So I got all the porting, and if you want to throw in polishing, but I got everything blueprinted the way I wanted. I've got the 60 grit texture on my intake runners. I'm looking at uh, finer than, you know, I'm not gonna say it's polished, it's not mere polished, but it's definitely shiny on the exhaust runners. And see if you guys can tip you guys up here where you can kind of see the exhaust. That is my, you know, larger opening raising the roof on the uh, gasket so that that runner will dump seamlessly into a stock exhaust manifold. Because I think I've talked before about um, you're not going to help yourself, sorry about that, you're not going to help yourself by making your exhaust opening in your head larger than your header. You know what I mean? If you have a really huge opening coming out of your exhaust port, that just dead heads into a smaller header tube or a smaller manifold opening, that's not worth doing. You're hurting yourself. So thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that little bell, share this video, and hopefully we'll be able to get another one up this evening. Who knows? Go Comcast Xfinity. Thank you.